Yes, what you saw was the humanized version of Asna from SAO. Sorry to bring up such a cursed image. Anyway, that was created completely using AI to give anime faces a more human touch. I did this by running the Face Depixelizer Colab notebook based on this GitHub repository. Thank you to these kind souls over here who made this all possible. So according to the readme of the underlying paper, it is based on Pulse, a self-supervised photo upsampling via latent space exploration of generative models. Wow, what a mouthful. But don't be afraid of the long title. How it works is actually quite simple in short. Essentially, it is based on StyleGAN, a generative adversarial network. In the GAN, there are two neural networks in question, a generator and a discriminator. The generator's purpose is to produce fake images of faces. This, along with a dataset of real faces, will be fed into the discriminator, and the discriminator is there to try to deduce if the image is real or fake. So, the generator starts off being really crappy and produces useless images. As the name adversarial suggests, the two neural nets will sort of fight each other and force each other to improve. The generator produces more realistic faces while the discriminator gets better at identifying fake ones. Eventually, you can trick the discriminator well enough such that your generated images are more or less indistinguishable from the neural network's eyes. What Pulse does is to find a match between the pixelated image that you upload and a low resolution image of what the generator produces. Then it traces back and gives you the high resolution one. Theory aside, the notebook makes it very simple for anyone to use. You can click on the link in my description to try it out yourself. Just run the cell block, upload a photo of your choice and get it downloaded. Well, sometimes if you are unlucky like me, you will run into this problem and you just have to come back another time. I got my anime faces from resizing searches from Google Images and the anime face dataset on Kaggle. Link will also be provided for that dataset. Without further ado, enjoy these curated results. That's it for me. Thank you all so much for watching. If you enjoy content like these where I explain how complicated technology works, some programmer humor, or are looking forward to projects that I will do, please consider subscribing to my channel to support my work. Thank you all once again and I hope to see you next time.